This is Hawkeye, and I am here with Kachi, a.k.a. Dulakaba, with the purple face, as you can see. <laughs> anyway, he can't see that. Anyway, we are here in Red Feather Falls. We haven't been here for a while, and I think we're going to be trying to a new spot that he has put a tent at to see if we can't find some whitetails or whatever else happens to cross our path. So I am ready to go here, and I know you've got a mission, don't you? To complete or? uh well yeah I'm, i am part of a, a competition the lord francis recurve challenge for whitetail and mule deer and uh i don't know we'd have to go and hunt mule deer at some point tonight i think for me to finish an entry in that so i don't know if we'll get to that or not but there's an area that uh um recently i tracked a deer through at a different time of day than i've ever been through there and there were just whitetail everywhere so we're gonna go check it on out all right let's see yeah, I want to see this All new right. spot. Uh, today, I will be bringing with me, of course, my recurve bow, my trusty rusty 30 out 6 I got my Basanti for close encounters with bears. And then every collar in the form of juice known to Red Feather Falls, elk and moose and whitetail, as well as blacktail juice to go along with that. And, Hawk, if you pop open the map, you should see the, the course that I laid in here. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay. Wow, I don't think... I've ever been that way, have I? Yeah. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to work our way over to Observation Point, which is the middle side, the middle east side of this hill. I call it Observation Point. It doesn't actually have a real name. And we're going to check across the river, see if there's any whitetail on the hillside over there. And then we're just going to follow the river along for a little ways. And then we'll actually cut into the woods, go down, cross the two roads, and work our way down until we finally end up. There's a one-man tree stand there, and an important thing to know is that tree stand faces northeast when you're up at top. You can't okay. shoot back behind you. Hmm. And um, all of that was just full to the brim with whitetails, um, whitetail bucks specifically. And I started out this time in the morning, and like I say, just kind of accidentally ended up going that way, tracking a whitetail that I'd come across. So hmm. I will see about dropping us our first dot, and we can rock and roll. All right. And Sounds some pretty good. spiffy shades you got on there. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got uh, a, new, a new feature they've added to the Hunter, in which when we put on our sunglasses, it actually gives us a filter. And in theory, we haven't tested it out yet, but in theory, that's going to be tremendously helpful in um, not only white rhyme when it comes to tracking and, and the problems we have through with the brightness of the sun, but possibly also in the field areas in some of the other maps. Yeah, where it's real hard to see your domes and the bright grass. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, like, like in timber gold trails, when we get into that tall grass in the fields, when there's good bright sun, you just absolutely lose everything. It just vanishes. So. Yeah. Now we did have Whitetail Buck who was calling from the north end of this of this little uh, hill island, whatever you want to call it. But I took a, a gander at him. I snuck up, took a look, and he was just a little bitty fella. He we threw we let him go so he can go grow up, <laughs> get a little bigger. So this is what I call observation point. This area right down here allows us to pretty much get a view of that entire hillside all the way down to the water and many 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 mornings a little bit later in the morning usually because i've started down at the uh, hunting lodge and yeah. worked my way up here i've taken whitetail off this hillside so it's okay. definitely worth a look see if 
we got anybody out there. I've also taken some pretty big moose. There's a, a hunting stand uh, up the hill there a ways. One of yours? And that hunting stand is actually well no it's it doesn't show on the big map when you enter the game but once you're in the game it shows and uh it's just like some board slap between a couple of trees oh, okay. and that particular that particular spot will very often produce moose that's and every once in a while you'll get uh roosevelt elk that'll come from north of there down in the little valley below yeah and i'm not seeing any white tails out there at the moment so i guess We'll move on down. All right. I hear it, that, that cow. Yep. Yep, she... she's up the river. But uh, to our right, what would be south on the map, across over there, a lot of times there'll there'll be some really nice bull moose over there. Yeah. There, we got one. He's actually back up the river on the shore that way. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see him. At first, I didn't see the circle. Yeah. Yes, well, what, what we can do is we can slip up, see if we get eyes on him. Um, that might be that buck that I got a look at earlier on. I didn't notice if it said uh, new signal or not, quite honestly. Didn't say new signal for me. Okay, and we have an elk cow where crossing the water there that's unusual hmm is unusual i don't see her yet yeah she tried it out and then tried it back but um don't see a lot of elk over on this side of things once you get farther north and a little bit east you do but Actually, he came through here earlier, so we can get a read on him right up over here. Yeah, I see the track. This is... Wait a minute. So, yep, he just called again, him? so he's still on... Yeah, he's, he called again, he's still on this shore, and we've got his track here, and his track says that he's 45 to 75 kilograms, so he's a little bitty guy. Oh, yeah. It's not what you're wanting, man. <laughs> yeah, he's probably not even worth the effort. If, if they read 95 top end or 100 top end, well, that's one worth chasing. But that little guy, he, he probably won't won't have but four corns on him, so. It's no prong horns. <laughs> Ooh, that right there, my friend, is a big black bear. Whoa. Look at the size of those tracks. That's probably say some of the biggest black bear tracks I have seen. That looks like grizzly tracks. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That is a seriously big black bear. His tracks go up this way. Let's just follow his tracks just a little ways, just so we've got some idea of where he's going. I'm kind of curious myself, just to see him. Yeah, he's... He is a big old fella. Those are some of the biggest black bear tracks I have seen on Red Feather Falls. Wow. We were more or less going to follow anyway. We'd have been a little farther down the hill is all. So it's not not costing us anything to follow him. Well, I'm following you at some distance. I'm hoping that will reduce the noise. Wait a minute. I think yeah, I saw him take getting, off. I think I, saw, I think I saw him took off, but I'm not positive. Or a tight circle now. I guess that answers that question. Where does the bear go to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because if he had, if he, had, well, I don't know. He, we'll see if we got fleeing tracks up here. Was it right up over here or was he farther out when you? It's a little he further him? out, but more to the left. Well, he's, he's still showing roaming and he is close. Better be ready for a charge here. Yeah, I hear him now. Ooh. Yeah, he's somewhere close by. Yeah, his next track is up over here. Oh, he's really I don't close. Know if he's warning. Yeah, I don't know if he's warning. But. Yeah, I've got my Basante out just in case. Because, uh. Huh. 
and pick up his track here. Yeah, he's still close. Basically, I've, I'd love to take a black bear on the charge, but... Yeah, he's really close, he's man. He's vocalizing like crazy out there. Yeah. And, there's and a... there was a buck. Shh. If you want to read on that buck and see where he is, I'll, I'll hold on to the bear track. He's south of us. Uh, let me show you where here. All right. Okay, right about there. Wow, he's close, huh? Yeah, fairly close. Well, so we're if if, if you want if you want to check out that buck, I'll stick with this bear for a moment, or we can. Because, I mean, I really want to see this bear with as big as these tracks are. I kind of want to see him, too, but if you get him, I guess I'll still get to see him. Let me see if I can't uh, maybe do a call here. Might be able to get eyes on that buck. I mean, if he's that close, there's a good chance you can get eyes on him. Whoops. <laughs> I was going to say... I was going to say, unless he's a multilingual buck. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean to do that, okay? <laughs> but, yeah, I think the bear fled because all of a sudden I got a, a big circle again. I think he heard me walking across the rocks here. I would have loved to have been able to see him because, like I said, that was... Yep, fleeing. So... We'd have to go in hot pursuit if we were going to continue after him. It's a, it, and it's it's really it's up to you. I mean, he's still taking us along the route that uh, that we were originally going to travel. So I mean, it's not like he's dragging us off off route or anything. We're getting down into that whitetail area now. True. I was going to see if this buck makes another call. <clears throat> so. If you want to keep going, I can keep seeing what if anything comes of this. If it doesn't, I'll just come right behind you. Okay. I hear a bear can, again. Yeah, I there's there's at least one more bear here in the neighborhood somewhere. Oh, he's so close. I can hear him. He's close. Yeah. Damn, where is he? Is that the? What do you mean? What is that? Oh yeah, he he fled like just like one step, one I mean, and then he went back to roaming. So I've got a solid circle on him again. Okay, I got that buck now. He's a little further out. How's he looking? Uh, I'm trying to see here. Let me get it on the map. I mean, is, how's he looking horn wise? Oh, I can't you see. You got it. a monster today. I can't see him yet, but he's right there now. Okay, this fella is like right on top of me here somewhere. So you're actually closer to him than I am. I'm closer to the buck than... Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Something's going on with my computer. I'm dropping frames again. It seems like it happens every no. Saturday night past midnight. It's updating something. I don't know what the hell it's doing. I'm on yep. him. There he I'm is. Going hot. Sorry, man. That's all right. That's all right. It was a little. It was a little buck. It wasn't huge. It was a little guy. Okay. Yeah, he ran. He just ran across. The... <laughs> well, we're we're a fair distance out yet from where the uh, where the deer action really got hot. So right. But. I looked out there and he didn't see me and there was because of the the lay of the land there was no way I was going to get close enough for a bow shot so I decided to take him cuz I've got to see I've got to see this guy I don't blame you I mean that could be something I hope that's not footprint steps that aren't the kind I want to deal with at this time <laughs> No, that buck's long gone. 
Yeah, he heard your shot and he he took off. Yeah, this is this is a pretty good black bear here. Yeah, he's a 21. That's not bad at all. I think that's probably the biggest black bear that I've taken. Which I know, when you compare that to grizzlies and brown bears, that's not a very big bear. But for a black bear, that is not bad at all. In fact, the like the Hall of Fame black bear is only a 23. So this is a big black bear. I'm really pleased right now. Well, he's 40 or 50 meters straight ahead. So basically, if we go prone and we crawl right up to the edge of this drop-off, there's a good chance we'll get eyes on him. Okay. I'll just make sure and keep my eyes open, make sure he doesn't come walking right up over the top of the hill. Really. If he does, go ahead and zap him with that boomstick. You have your, you got your crossbow with you, right? Yeah, I got my crossbow. I, I know that was a really stupid question, but I figured I, I would ask. <laughs> oh, I've always got my crossbow. That's what I'm comfortable yep, exactly. with. Exactly. It's like I, you know, it's like you said, sometimes you know, some things just fit. All right, so he's actually moving away from us. We got a track right up here, so I'm going to come up and I'm just going to check this track, get a read on him. And if he reads good, if he reads good, maybe maybe we should track him. Okay. But he should be close enough that we can call him back in, and we've got a great place to set up a shot here. It's just a matter of if he's another one of them little bitty fellas. I don't know. This is looking like a pretty good track here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, he's a 7,200 kilogram, so. Ooh, okay. Yeah, including I'm... my own. I've got I've got footage ready to go if I get those likes, but. I just, I feel like it's a little bit different than, oh, there he is right there. Let's see if we can get a spot on him. Oh, he went right behind a tree. He's about, uh, he's about, oh, he paused right behind the tree. Dang, dang it. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't see him yet. There he is. Come on, give me the spot. Give me the spot. 65 to 145. So he's another one of these small ones. I don't understand why they're all so tiny today. Yeah. Yeah, I see. 65 to 95 grams. Yeah. Uh, probably kilograms as opposed to grams. Cause if I mean, he was yeah, he would be pretty small. Grams, he? He'd fit in the palm of your hand. He'd weigh less than Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to do a scent patch and a call. And I'm going to go prone. And if you want to poke a hole in him so that we've at least got one Some... to get started with... Yeah, I don't even have a white tail. I mean, if, you, if you're not interested, I'll I'll take him with, with the bow. But um, I don't even have a, a white tail in my trophy lodge yet. So, well, and that's that's what I was thinking is that you don't even have one up yet. So well, I'm right beside why, you. So all right. I don't see him anymore. Where'd he go? I figured at least get you one to put up, and if we come out better, we come out better. But I gotta say, quite honestly, not sure we're gonna come been, out. There. So tiny. He was yeah. about 50 meters out. Oh, there he is. Hold on. That's a different one. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah, he's yeah, off to he's, the east. Yeah, he's down by the water that way. Yep. Hmm. Should we just hang tight and maybe try to call them both in? Well, that other one is close enough to come in. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to inch my way over here on the other side of the tree so sure. that we've got a little bit, we've got a dual perspective so we can figure out where this fella is and whether he's coming in or not. Now, you made a call, didn't you, just a minute if ago? If he is, he's moving mighty slow. But that way, if this other one comes in, I should get a... A view of him.
And of course, it's you know it's difficult when you got two guys out hunting together because you make twice the noise and twice the smell and everything. Is that the other one? Yeah. Yep, that's the other one. Okay, he's moving in towards your side, so. Yep. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop a dot on the map where he called from, just to help us keep track of yeah. where he is. I still don't see that first one you saw. Oh, by golly, in fact, looking straight out there, I see the, that next one. Hmm. And I regret to inform you, I must kill it, and I must kill it now. Fuck. If I let this deer get away. That good, huh? Okay, that other one's, that other one's approaching. That other one's approaching. I see him, I see him, I see him. Oh, I see. Hawk, I, I'm in a real dilemma here. I know you want to get your deer... I'll get, him. This I'll get him out. Don't worry about it. Okay, you got him? Perfect. He's down. So go ahead and do Perfect. what you need to do. Oh, 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 Hawkeye. Oh, Hawkeye. How good was he? There comes a moment when sometimes you almost got to stick it to your buddy. For the sake of selfishness, and I'm glad you were able to take your shot. He's down. I got this guy marked. Let's let's pick your fella up. All right. I was and gonna let's go look at this deer together because he's still alive, Hawk. You're gonna have to finish him. Oh shoot. Okay, I must have hit him in the spine. Now look at the horns on him. How can they tell us that he is only looking at a 145? I mean, Shh. just a gorgeous set of horns. That didn't kill him. Just an absolute gorgeous set of horns. Poor son of a gun. Can I get him with the Basante? Yeah, absolutely. You, you literally shot him right in the nose. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. All right. But I, I got that other fellow marked. What's, disqualified. What I guess I can't hit him with the Basante. Oh, the Basante. Oh, Hawk. Man. Can, can you still, does it still give you the option to taxidermy him? I don't know. Let me see. I'm... When you do the trophy shot. shot, son of a gun. Well, hell, we won't even know what his what his score was. It never even occurred to me, man, that that Basanti is is rated for for buffalo. Yeah, I was just trying to put him out well, of his misery. Yeah, I was just trying to put him out of his misery. I tried to do it with a bow but it didn't take him down yeah. yep I can't do the tro I can't taxidermy him <sighs> gun. yeah well, well I've got my deer so any other animal we encounter on this hunt is yours I don't I don't care if it's a bull moose coming in at 972 I got my animal <laughs> and I've got to see this from now the, from <laughs> I got a, I got that fantastic bear, and I got this buck, and from this point on, this is your hunt. We're going to get you a hell of a white tail and for, for your lodge, and I'm going to love every minute of it, but. Oh, he's pretty. Because, you'll see, he is not even a white tail. He's a black tail. He is, yeah. He is one of uh, such a beautiful black tail. That's why I didn't feel like I was robbing anybody of anything. I wanted a really good black tail for the lodge wall forever, and he's got just absolutely the epitome of what a really good black tail deer's rack looks like in the real world. I'm, I'm not even talking about in the game here. Right. And. Like I said, when I saw him, I, I had to have him for the wall. Didn't care what his score was. He is he's a, a beautiful, beautiful example of, of the blacktail, and that's why I wanted him, you know. So. Oh, yeah. He looks nice. He does look nice. He's, he's going to taxidermy up absolutely gorgeously. And um, the, the thing is, the thing is, is again, the black tails don't come in with a, a really, really high score. The, uh, um, like hall of fame black tail is, is I believe a 197. Yeah. 
He looks nervous. So <laughs> he's shaking. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what what I should what I should do here for a pose. All right, I think I'll do that. Whoops! What the hell just happened there? I don't know. You did some I don't kind know of. Either. You did some kind of Russian dance, and then you... <laughs> oh, I see what happened. I accidentally put my firearm away. Yeah, you did, yeah. <sighs> but, so Dumb. surprised I have a black tail of quality just come moseying up. You gonna hop over in here with me? Yeah. Now that... When you do those trophy, special trophy shots, are they they cost more money? Yep. Is that what? It, that's what I figured. Yeah, when you when you uh, the trophy shots, uh, it's EM to to purchase them basically. Mm. Well, this guy is just not gonna lift his head up. <laughs> the heck. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. Do you need me to I'm move? I'm having any a really or? hard time like finding a place to grab him where I can get get his head to turn. There, I might be able to, to raise it up there. And, and the mouse was even in checking it out. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is going on over there? Maybe if I grab him by his, by like his nose or something. Well, uh, uh, oh, almost had it. It was almost perfect. That's going to have to do. That's going to have to do. Right there. Why is it not? All right. If you want to uh, step to my to my left side, uh, okay. Uh, just walk right up next to my left shoulder, and then turn to your left. There you go. That way I can get us both in here and get this feller as well. All right. What was his score? Bingo. There we go. <clears throat> and I am going to taxidermy him, and his score was. He was a 162. That's still very good. Yeah, he's not leaderboard, and he's not, he's not, you know, anything just, like I say, I didn't, wasn't really concerned about what his score was. He was just such a perfect example of a beautiful black tail with, with nice horns that, that, that was, that was what I wanted. Because, you know, my goal, of course, is to have a, a good example of all of the species in right. my trophy lodge. All right, well, let's head back down for the road. All right. And let's go see if we can find you a really nice white tail, a white tail that I will be properly jealous of. <laughs> no, I cannot believe. I didn't even realize. I was just trying to put the darn thing out of its misery. Well, and that's just it. They really do need to give us a means. Yeah, I agree. Now, whether, whether it's the, the hunting knife or whatever. I mean, in the real world, you'd have walked up, you'd have you'd have str straddled him, pulled his head back, cut his throat. It would have been over with, and that that would have been the humane thing to do. You wouldn't walk up and shoot him a second time. You know, I mean, exactly. 